Hi everyone, this is a tutorial on how to adjust the volume of mp3 files inserted in a PowerPoint and I will be showing you how to do this using my very recent resource that I shared which is the, what do you hear? A lot of people have requested if there is a way to muffle some of the sounds or remove some of the sounds in, in certain slides to accommodate for their students who have sensitivity to loud noises. All right, so this is how you do it. Let me show you my file. Let me go to that file. So here you can go to, the sound will appear on the third slide. All right, so this is start of the sound. So if you can see here, my animation pane is open. So once you open the animation pane, so you will see the animation pane in the animations and then click here, animation pane. So if there is a play button here, which here it says cow, and you that means that there is an animation that the cow sound will play when the slide starts okay so i placed my sound outside of the slide so you can see it over here and if you hover on it so here on the icon of a sound you will see that you can adjust the sounds here so it will depend on your computer how loud your sounds are so you can adjust it here make it uh, put it up and down and it is also up to you if you want the sound to play only once or if you want it to keep playing so what you're going to do is you will go here to animation pane and you will go to timing and then with it within the timing it says here until it will repeat until the next click so that means the sound will not stop until you, the next animation starts or until you click this, the, your mouse or press on your space bar for the next animation to appear. So you can change that into none if you don't want it to repeat. All right. And then, so here, I want to show you that when you click this icon it will go here and then this will um, this will show you that you have to click on this icon and then the sound will start over here once it starts sound uh, the once the sound starts then it will prompt you to open the barn and then once you open the barn over here so you can see the barn will open and here are the animations so while the barn is opening uh, some of the people are saying that they don't need the sound here anymore so what you can do is again hover through the sound and then either uh, lower the volume all the way down so if it's all the way down you won't hear anything anymore or um, just do just a little bit of sound so let me show you um, what this would look like in a slideshow so now here on the fourth slide I remove the sound so I think on this slide this sound is not necessary so you may lower the volume over here All right, so let's do a slideshow and let's do from current slide so I'll click on the barn and then click on the sound icon so there is the sound that we lowered a little bit and then click open and then there's no more sound over here so the sound will not be over your voice whenever you are trying to make your students speak all right and then you go to the next so you see here we still have the sound and then here we still have the sound so that means we can remove that sound again and that is on the slide 
seven where the dog is barking so again you go to this icon here of a speaker and then you just move the sound all the way down and let's see if it will play or not so let's go here and then click open so here there's no sound anymore and here there's the first sound and then we open this one and then there's no sound again there's no sound on the next slide so on this powerpoint i want to let you know that the sounds just to give you a cue on what slides you need to remove the sounds on it will be the ones with this next button and also at the very end activity so here this is the very end activity of the barn so there's no next button so you can also remove the sound here you can uh, move it all the way down and then on the phone it is again where the next button is so you can remove the sound all the way down and then at the very end so you will have to do it every time there is this next button and then here on these um, sounds that people make so you will have to remove the sound on the slide with the next button and all the way at the bottom i will put a link down below for the edited file that doesn't have the sounds on certain slides and i hope this is helpful to you this is miss ebony signing off till my next video bye